So in UOCD, we're backing up, as it were, and asking ourselves the question, for a given group of people, what's important to do, what's worth doing, what's meaningful to do for them, and what's appropriate? Something that follows the patterns of their lives and is respectful and responsive to their values. Students do a semester-long team project, and they start out with a group of people, which they know nothing about, and by the end of the project, they come with proposals in the form of sketch models, uh, foam looks like models, and uh, posters and requirements tables and so on. For the first time, these Olin engineers are um, being asked to begin not with a clear problem statement, but people, people that they choose, um, that they're going to go spend time with and um, to begin by empathizing and understanding them and, and identifying for themselves what the right problems are to solve and the right ways are to solve those. Our user group was volunteer medical providers um, and so that user group, um, they're doctors, nurses, dentists, um, and people who volunteer their time to provide those services to people who can't afford them or who don't have access to them. And specifically the users that we focused on were those who volunteer their time to go abroad on missions and help people in less developed countries. The problem that they had was that they have a very limited time window in which they can actually make an impact to those people. Um, and so they feel like maybe they're not really doing very much and they're sort of sweeping back the waves of the ocean with a broom was what one of our users said. And so we wanted to basically find a way to extend that impact. This class is all about the people, and so I learned a lot about how it is I identify the needs of a certain group of people and how to tailor what I'm designing to fit their needs exactly um, down to the very shape of the button and the touch of the screen. Once they decide they're ready, they take one of these little adhesive labels this is a little label with a speaker in it and a button. They bring it close to the device and it beeps and it changes color. So that way the doctor knows it's been programmed. Um, and so now the doctor can stick this on anything and the patient, all the patient needs to do is just press and hold this button and it will read them the doctor's message in their native language. I don't think I'd ever sort of really understood someone the way I now understand volunteer physicians and it was really it was really interesting to form the bonds with those users and talk to them and really try and put ourselves in their shoes and understand their struggles every day. I think one of the things that's most satisfying is just UOCD becomes a sort of, sort of mnemonic shorthand for doing the UOCD thing and they do it, they keep doing it, even when they're not asked to do it, when they tackle a new problem 